Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial on Tinkercad. In this Tinkercad video we're going to take a look at something called resistance. In any electric circuit there's a certain amount of resistance and that resistance will determine how much electricity flows or the current that flows in a circuit. So we're going to take a look at resistance in this video. So what we're going to do is over in the basic components with a breadboard that I've placed here, I'm going to take a resistor and I'm going to put it like so. And when I do that, what it does is it puts in a resistor and this is supposed to look like what we call a carbon resistor and really think of it like a light bulb. Uh, an old-fashioned light bulb has a certain amount of resistance and this just acts like an old-school light bulb. I can change the amount of resistance measured in ohms by putting in whatever value I want here. So for instance, I can change this to 220 and that funny looking horseshoe is the symbol we use to represent resistance and that is called ohms. So this here is a resistor and it has a resistance of 220 ohms. Notice when I do that, if you saw in here, the colors actually changed and we're going to talk about these color codes later, but the color codes here actually tell us what the resistance of a carbon resistor is if we're holding it in our hand. Now, we can measure what the resistance is using a multimeter. So if I scroll down and I pull out a multimeter, I can measure the resistance. Um, and I'm going to place it here. And notice that when I bring it in, this multimeter defaults to voltage. But what we're going to do is we're going to change that to resistance. And you can see here it flips to R and that tells us that it's measuring resistance. Just like voltage, we're measuring resistance between two points. In other words, what's the resistance from one point to another? Think of it like a water hose. If you have a water hose at home to water the garden, as the water flows through the hose, there's a little bit of friction with the water going down the hose. If I put pebbles in the hose, there's going to be even more friction for that water to travel through. So think of electricity flowing down a wire, just like water flowing through a garden hose. Now, I can measure the resistance of this device. Since I've placed it on the board, I can measure from one point to another. Now when I measure resistors, very important, the power is always disconnected. And since there's no power here, I'm just going to keep it as a green wire. Notice I've got positive and negative. When I'm measuring resistance, it doesn't matter which terminal I connect to which side. It's just measuring the resistance. There is no positive or negative side when we talk about resistance. So there, all I'm doing here with this meter, I'm measuring resistance across these two points on the breadboard, which is really that resistor. So if I start the simulator, then as we would expect, it's measuring 220 ohms. Now, if I stop the simulator, and I'm just going to disconnect or take out this wire here, let's bring in another resistor. I can connect another resistor on this breadboard and if I want to connect them together I need to put them in a certain fashion. If I put the resistors like that right now they're not connected together. In other words electricity could not flow through this resistor and this resistor because they are not connected in the same row. This would be an open circuit. So make sure that when you do this you have to bring it so that one of the terminal ends is in the same row as this one here. Now, I have done that and just to be consistent here, let's try to change this here. 
so that it has the same resistance as our other resistor. Let's make it 220 ohms. There, now you can see the colors change. They look the same. They have the same resistance. And now if I put in a wire from that terminal right to that point right there, what I'm measuring on the breadboard is the resistance between these two points. Now this is 220 ohms. This is 220 ohms. How much resistance is between this point and this point? Well, maybe you've figured it out. Let's try the simulator. And yeah, what happens when you string them together is you end up adding them. This is what we call resistance in series or series resistors. And what happens is we add the resistances together and we end up with 440 ohms. If I put in a, another resistor in series, again, you would simply add them together. So, what I want you to do for this next assignment is to string three resistors together in series and put in a multimeter measuring resistance, measure it by turning on the simulator, and then take a screen capture. That's going to be your next assignment. Please see me in class if you have any questions. That's it for this tutorial. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.